guys, Demi Tendo here, and today we have a new thing to review. Boom! All right, so I actually picked this up a little while back, but now I'm choosing to review it. As you can tell by the little opening of the box, yeah, I couldn't wait. I just couldn't wait. So. Nintendo's Amiibo series is what we're going to be reviewing today. And it's Super Smash Brothers ROB or Rob. It's ages 6 and up. Um, shoot, the box fell. <laughs> Anyways, use Amiibo accessories in many compatible games. And they show all these uh, silhouettes of Amiibos on the back. Look for this icon on Amiibo compatible games. And it's for more details, you visit that website. Um, so, if you haven't guessed it, Nintendo is the one that creates Amiibos. And so, I'll give you a little brief description on what they are. Amiibos are basically like Skylanders. They're like Disney Infinity. They're like Lego Dimensions. And if you haven't heard of all of that, well then, I'm sorry for you. Basically, I'll just give you the basics. <laughs> NFC chip is what's put inside these figures. That's near field communication. So basically it's technology that you scan onto a Nintendo console via the Wii U, the 3DS, or the very new, brand new Switch. And possibly Switch 2 that's coming out. As so well. ROB, if you don't know who this character is, ROB Rob is from the Nintendo Entertainment System era, which means he's there from the very beginning. He was basically their first attempt at a twist to life thing. So the robot would interact with the game Gyromite, which nobody's heard of I bet. So he's well known for the Gyromite game and he's used as a tool of technology, a, a computer tool of technology for the Nintendo Entertainment System. He's basically an accessory or add-on to the Nintendo Entertainment System. But soon after, he became a playable character in Mario Kart DS. And eventually he got picked as a character in Super Smash Bros. Bra. And actually was the main villain? He was the... Sorry, he wasn't the main villain. He was the, like... What could we say? Second in command. Yeah, he's basically the second in command. Yeah. He ended up being... He, he ended up having a whole story arc of being brought into this game. Which I thought was really funny because it's literally just a uh, Rob, a Nintendo Entertainment System accessory. He, he gets so much lore. I mean, yeah, it's crazy. But those are basically what Rob is. So without further ado, let's open up this box and get into a more in-depth review of this figure. So taking out the figure of the package, it's smaller compared to, let's say, my Tanuki Mario figure that I just reviewed. Um... Go check that out, right? It should, should be around there. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. And then there's Rob. Right here. As we can see, Rob is a smaller co figure compared to, let's say, my Tanuki Mario figure that I just reviewed a little while back. And, but, the difference is that Rob is super duper detailed. This figure is like a collector's figure, kind of. And I don't get why it's aimed towards 6+, plus because it's very, very detailed. It's a lot of detail. You see, there's an off and on switch. They print in super small text. What? Hello? All the lines, all the gears, all the shine on this. It's just perfect detail. Like, even the eyes glowing like that. It's just perfect detail right there, too. It looks so much like the original Rob. It just looks like a mini version of it, basically. I like the pose. So, I guess I could say, like, the pose is pretty pretty decent it's a robot I mean he doesn't have legs so you can't make it more of a pose but I like him kind of looking off into the distance so that's kind of like you know something a little cool and on the bottom of the amiibo it just says amiibo it's made in China Nintendo copyright Nintendo so he's a Nintendo original character so let's go into our final thoughts of this figure because he doesn't come with an accessory he doesn't come with anything it is now time for final thoughts. Sorry, my inner Bowser just released right there. Anyways, let's get into the final thoughts. So first, we're going to say the pros. 
So the pros of this figure, I would say, is that he is very, very detailed, even more than the regular typical action figure. Very, very good, very, very accurate, game accurate, and real life accurate, really, because he's a real life toy. So that's actually, let's say, accuracy and detail, and that he comes with a stand is actually pretty cool. Um, what can I say? else about this character that uh, is really good uh, because he's not just a figure you can also scan him into the game so that's another pro you can also scan him into your switch or 3ds or wii u to do any re sort of reward or you can actually put him as a character in the game sort of like a skylander but you don't play as the character instead you let the character play itself using artificial intelligence that you scan using a near field communication reader so basically Rob is playable you can also customize his color whenever you get his amiibo customize his name next up we have the cons and the cons oh boy here are the cons the cons is that it's not posable like an action figure so it's a statue, it stays very still and it kind of gets boring and the fact that it's targeted for six year olds and up is a problem because six year olds are not going to have much fun with a statue that stays still. Or you could be creative and use it as a board game piece, I mean very innovative but uh, you know what I'm saying? Very very conish to me. Another thing is that this figure is $16 yup too expensive this figure is a super small figure it's smaller than my tanuki mario and it's not even posable and the posable one is $15 it's the same price as an action figure there's no way and one can argue yes it's the technology built inside of this but I mean come on man the technology is not that good on it should be like $13, like how it originally was. It used to be $13. That that should be the bare minimum because it doesn't even move. It's not an action figure. There's, it's just, it doesn't make sense. So those are the two cons that I have with this. There's two pros, or is it three pros? Yeah, in-game functionality, the detail, and the fact that it's a perfect collector item. So, I would say the pros and the cons kind of correlate with each other. So overall, I'd rank it in for kids. I'd say it's a pretty C toy. It's an okay toy. I'll rank it C for kids. <laughs> and it's just, it wouldn't be fun to them. You wouldn't see the appeal unless you put it into the actual game. Trust me. Kids don't even know what the heck Amiibo is, so they don't even know that it could be scanned into a game. The older kids or the older Nintendo fans would understand that. So, for them, and myself included, I would give it a B for collectability, for detail, and for price. Adding all those points together. And the functionality in the games. Again, Smash Bros is really the only game you can have them as physical characters customize them otherwise uh, in other games they just give you little items and things that aren't that can already be unlocked inside of the game so it doesn't make them feel very valuable for that price on top of that so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and what are your personal rankings on rob you even the character itself just tell me all right so i'll keep y'all for the next one. Bye guys. Steamy Tendo out.